All right, what's up, guys? So, uh, I've been following along. The other day, I decided to put the Nova back together, just get it back on the road. Gave up on the C5 brake swap for now. Gotta get some more parts, but earlier today, I was able to get the drum put back on this side and everything. I didn't really tear the passenger side apart, so that's still basically good to go. Um, but I tore this side all completely apart to test the brackets for the C5 conversion. Had to put all that back together, got the brake line bolted back up and everything. So I still have to bleed the brakes, but uh, I think my mission for this evening is I'm going to crawl into the car and take the bullet thing back out of the transmission where the speedometer cable goes, because if you followed along on my videos for any length of time, you'll know that I've tried to fix the leak that was under there for like forever. <laughs> uh, so, Currently, there's a brand new bullet thing. It's like where the speedometer cable uh, threads onto and the side of the transmission. I have a new, brand new one of those. Uh, I replaced a little gear that like clips into that that's inside the transmission. It has like a seal uh, that it sits on too. So the gear's new, the bullet's new, and the speedometer cable is new. However, the speedometer cable itself doesn't have anything to do with like stopping fluid from coming out. It just screws on there. So, um, Everything being new, it still drips. It's been sitting here. The car's been on jack stands for like a year, I think. And it's been just constantly dripping out into pans under the car. I don't even know how much transmission fluid is even left in the tranny. Like, uh, So I'm going to pop the bullet out. And the transmission shop I talked to a while back said that the seal inside the bullet sometimes doesn't get like uh, tapped in and seated all the way. So I'm going to pull that out and then see if I can just like tap it down with a socket a little bit. And then I'll put it all back together. Hopefully that fixes it. So I'll explain more here under the car. Okay, so just to show you guys again what's going on. You can see uh, the fluid's been dripping out right here off the cable from the side of the transmission. This is a really common problem on old 350 transmissions and stuff. Old cars and trucks. Uh, so like I said, what I've done to this point is... Uh, Right here is, that's not getting out of focus, um, there's a thing they call the bullet. It's like just pushed inside the transmission right there that the cable is screwed onto. And it has like an O-ring on it. And then there's like a, uh, a little gear has like a tube attached to it that like slips inside of the bullet. Like I'll show you guys when I get it apart what that is, but the end of that little gear gets worn off in the bullet sometimes, so I've changed the gears brand new, and this bullet is brand new, the o-rings are brand new, all that stuff is brand new, and it's still dripping. So I gotta pop this out and see if I can tap the seal and that bullet down inside of it a little bit further, stop it from dripping. It's just, it's been dripping all year while the car's been sitting here, and it's super annoying. There was just trays of fluid under the car, so uh, when I pull that out, there is going to be fluid, so if you're working on this, just know that'll happen to you too. Alright, I'm trying to set this camera up here so you guys can see what's going on. Hopefully it'll it'll work, but i got to take the speedometer cable off, which you can just unthread it with like vice grips or pliers or channel locks or something. It should just thread off. And it just comes out, it's got a little square spinny thing that goes into the bullet. That's what uh, turns the cable for the speedometer. And you probably can't see in that in there, but um, this doesn't have an O-ring or a seal or, or anything like that. It just threads onto there, it's all it does. Um, so I gotta unhook that and then gotta go get a little, I think this is a 7 16 bolt. There's a little uh, plate here that just holds on or holds the bullet in from falling out. So I need to go grab a wrench Okay, oh, we're just gonna loosen this little bolt up out of here This might be redundant information for most of you, but I'll just film it anyways Maybe someone doesn't know how this works Alright, so I don't know if you can see that, but uh, if you just loosen this bolt, and there's this little 
metal plate. It just fits inside of a, a notch on the bullet here and holds it in from falling out. So I just unthread it and it comes out. Um, sorry the lighting sucks. You guys probably can't see that. Just a little metal plate thing. So I'm going to sit it over here out of the way. And then this just slides out, but you should know when you pull this out that a bunch of fluid will come out too. So I've got a drain pan under here to catch this. So it'll just pop out. Oh, okay, no fluid in there right now. <laughs> uh, this little gear thing popped out of here too. Uh, so, all right, let me uh, get out from under the car here. I'll show you guys what's going on with this. All right, so here's the deal. I have another video on my channel, if you go look for it, where I explain how I replaced all this stuff. And I, I show the old worn out, worn out part and this new one. So this gear right here, this is brand new. And uh, what happens is the very end here can get like worn off and it, it like uh, rides against a seal. So there's like a little seal in there. Um, this clicks in, it, it like sits against that little black seal right there. Uh, but since this bullet and everything is new and this gear is new and it's still leaking, what I was told was to get a socket put in here and try to tap this down further into there. So that is what I'm going to attempt to do now. All right, uh, got a, what is this? 10 millimeter socket, imagine that. Um, seems like it fits in there okay. So I'm just going to go over here and see if we can tap it in, tap it in there a little bit. Got a hammer. Yeah, here. Oh yeah, that definitely moved a little bit. So let's see what we did. Uh, so if we put this back in here, okay. So it. Well, you can tell it's it's sticking through there a little bit further now than it was before. Um, that's actually kind of considerably more. I don't think it'll hurt anything. Uh, still spins pretty freely. I guess I'll I'll just go with this for now. Uh, it should seal up a little bit better. I mean, if all else fails, I guess I'll have to take it apart again and tap it in there some more so we'll put all this back together um, more or less this just goes back in the side of the transmission and that little plate just goes in this notch right here and you bolt it on put the, the bolt back in it just holds it in screw the speedometer cable back on that's all there is to it so uh, I'll keep you guys updated on whether this ends up working or not